Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome to Hugh playing on his phone. I'm trying to send of, a text, yeah. and the show we start the show. They just that's what they do. They just say, "Okay, the show's on now. You're on." I'm in the middle of a text. Show's on. I hate texting. The show must start and the show must go on. No, you were late. Now yes, then. but uh, I'm glad you were late. It gave me more t- chance to try and get this text out. It took you ten minutes to send a text. Wow. I'm still not, I'm still not even finished. How much? Um, one of six. How many pages has it? Is it so far? What the te- the text? Yeah, don't you have a one of six at the top? No. That shows. <laughs> Maybe I should just read the text for everyone. No, don't. Oh, you're just one. Of <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took the phone away. Can't see it. Here's what I have so far. If my scheduled trip to Markham, you. You. As far as I've got. Oh, it took you ten minutes to write that. I don't like texting. Oh. Don't text me. Texting Phone me is better. Or email. Texting is better because you can multitask. You could text while you're doing something no, you else. Yes, you, you can't can. drive, and drive text. and text. You can't that drive That was the first thing I was going to say. You can't. Why not? Because you've you got to keep your eyes you on can. the road. Yeah, but and it's you illegal. focus more. You focus more if you're texting. Because you're paying extra attention. Because you know that you're off focus in one way, so that in the other way you just pay more attention of what's going on around you. But what if you, uh, you know, it's illegal now. I mean, it's worse to text and drive than even to phone and drive. For who? For the maybe people, people trying to drive. But maybe people who are more comfortable texting, it doesn't affect them. I don't think so. But anyways, uh, it's illegal now. Don't tell me you're... Uh, isn't it illegal? To oh, drive as if I'm the only one phone? who's still doing I'm it. I'm just saying. I'm no, just yeah, apparently it's illegal. Okay, and but yet you're texting on the highway. Yeah. Who said I wasn't really? Well, I guess kind of the highway sometimes. Okay. I wouldn't do it unless I was 100% sure I could do it without anything happening. So there are times where I want to write back, but I just wait for a red light or something. <clears throat> okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see. Why don't we get started? Because we have a busy show today, Natalie. Okay. Unless you have anything to report. Uh, let's see. I think we covered the puppet topic last week. Unless you want right? to report that we have won our first gold. Did we? Okay. Tell us. You're not following the Olympics? Well, I don't know. Basically, all I heard was that apparently Canada has still was still to win a gold on Canadian territory. Yeah. But the Quebec mogul skier, he did it. Oh, perfect. That's good. Finally. Because I don't think we won a gold in 76 Yeah, I don't think the Montreal. Olympics are coming back here after right? this year. Well, we've already had it three times in the last 20 years, yeah. right? Or 30 years. So uh, It's a good venue. But yeah. Okay, yeah. On with the, on with the show. Okay, on with the show. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, we got uh, Ian Agard, uh, filmmaker. He's got a movie called uh, Bend and Break Movie. Bend and break. Bend it and break. No, just bend and break. Bend and break. Bend. Bend or bend. 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 <laughs> bend and break. Bend and break. Okay. So we're gonna to talk to him. We're gonna probably see a little bit of the movie. Okay. Also, we got uh, Kent Mickelson. Sounds like he should be on the Pro Golfers Tour, right? The PGA. Kent Mickelson. Yes. Right. Yeah. Especially now. That there's a Opening. huge vacuum <laughs> at the top. <laughs> um, then we have, uh, he's the author of, uh, with a company called Creative Light Filtering Company. And he's written a book called The Three Things. So we're going to talk to him. What are the three things? We're going to find out. Okay. I don't know what they are. Aliens, planets, and 2012. Well, you mentioned the aliens. Yeah, as you know, there are three, that's three, types. Sub, three types right there, just with the aliens, yeah, right? right. Okay. Then we have Brian Bomal uh, coming in. Uh, the pitfalls of getting self-help from your social network. That's interesting. Isn't it? I never thought that you could get help from your social network. Sure, you just have to put the word out. Okay, let's see what, he, let's see what Victor recommends. The, the real problem with that is, what happened there? No, I the, wanted to flip the, the paper, but I took the microphone uh, cord by accident. The real problem with trying to get uh, self-help from your uh, social network is that uh, your friends probably can't prescribe pharmaceuticals that you require. But those are, that's the worst kind of help. Like, there's so many other types of help that can 
that get are rid better of than anything. pharmaceuticals? Yep. I know. I'm just joking. Ha. Huh. Or LOL. Although I saw Rick Green again on TV last night talking about how, you know, if you got ADHD, you need to get some medication for it. And I like Rick Green, right? Who's so Rick I'm, Green? You know, Commander Rick. Okay. Also, um, the Sandman Viper Command will be here. Five today? Si yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And we've only named four, so we're going to start to show off right after this little break. Cindy Stradling is here. A women's journey, inner wisdom coaching, and we're going to talk about coaching and all that kind of stuff, especially from the point of view of business and entrepreneurs. Right, Cindy? So let's take a little break, and we'll come back with Cindy Stradling right after this on Liquid Lunch. It's Tuesday, February 16th, 2010. Thank <laughs> you. 